Good morning, everybody. Welcome to EDU 600. We are now, well, actually starting on Monday, we will be going into week number five. So congratulations on successfully completing the first third of the class. You know, we're with week five, we're going into really the second third of the class. And this semester is moving very quickly. I hope you're doing okay with the materials. If not, please reach out to me as soon as possible. We can set up um, some additional help. We can do a Zoom, telephone call, whatever works best for you. But I'm certainly here to help you uh, successfully complete this course, and I will do anything that I can to possibly help you accomplish that. So congratulations on getting this far. far. I want to thank everybody also for the excellent work you're doing on the discussion posts. I appreciate the level of detail. I appreciate the citations that you're putting in there. It could be to the article that you're reading, or it could be something that you're commenting on your classmate and you're giving them credit for that. So thank you for that. You know, I give this suggestion 100 to 150 words, as long as it's somewhere between 100 and 300 words, that's, that's fine. Um, so congratulations on that. Now, as you can see from the screen, we're in week number five, but I did want to just sh shuffle back and go to week number four and highlight something that I added to the website. So bear with me. I'm going to switch screens here. So as you can see, I am now looking at the article capture one. Now I know um, a few people have already sent in the assignment. That's fine. If you sent it in, it means that you found you successfully were able to put the materials into the um, form that I put or, or associated with this assignment. So what I'm going to do is it, it, this is nothing major. Just I put a couple of other forms that you can use. It's the same form, but it's in, an, in a different format. So I'm going to click on the article capture. Once again, the instructions and down below, there was just one form. Um, it was a doc file. I also put a PDF and I put a DOX, um, DOCX format. So you have options. If you can't use this one, I'd say try the PDF and you can also go to the, the other form of the Word doc. So that's all I wanted to show you. If you're having trouble with that, you could use one of the other ones. If you're having trouble with all of them, please shoot me an email and we can figure something out. So I'm going to go back now to week number five, get into the content for week number five. That's four. Week number five. Okay, so now we are in week number five. No, this wasn't Popham Beach where I was at Popham Beach this week. Um, I think that actually is a picture that I took last year from South Carolina. So that was who knows what time that was in the morning, but it's probably probably out walking the beach at that point. OK, week number five, we're shifting gears. We've been focusing on focusing in on qualitative research. Now we're going to go to quantitative research. And in week number five, you're watching the module or you're watching this overview video. Quantitative research is a research that I found by teaching this class quite a few times, more people are familiar with. They're, they're more familiar with surveys and numbers and uh, reading something online, watching TV, whatever it might be, where the researchers, they cite things like 92% of all Americans believe blah, blah, blah. Um, that's really what we're going to be looking at. We're looking at qualitative research is the process of collecting and analyzing numerical data. So find patterns, averages, predictions, relationships, and you can generalize the results to a wider population. And I'm not going to, I don't want to get too bogged down with, with that statement, but when I read generalized results to a population, it means to me immediately that we're looking at a sample and the sample is sufficient enough to say that we can make generalizations beyond the sample size. So 
that's that's really what we're going to be doing. We're starting a three-week or a four-week exploration of quantitative research, which also includes statistics. And we will, you know, ease into the statistics. You will not have to you will have not have to solve statistical equations or statistical tests. Really, what we're going to be focusing in on is some aspects of statistical testing that will help you decide, is this valid research? Is this good research? Or is basically this not? Are the results st statistically significant or are they not? So a lot of quantitative research has been talked about over the last two years. Believe it or not, we've been dealing with COVID for the last two years. There's been a lot of debate, a lot of discussion about just that statistics that go along with with COVID. Okay, so let's let's get right to it. Um, in week number five, I'd like you to complete the readings and the videos. Read chapters six and seven. Now you're going to see there's there's some overlap. For the next few weeks, I might point you back to check chapter six and chapter seven because this is where we're looking at statistics. There's statistic, there's descriptive statistics, and there's inferral statistics, which actually descriptive statistics really just describe the data. The other type, inferable, we are looking beyond that. We are inferring from the information that we get to to the entire population, and that's where you get into sample size and a lot of other aspects that we're not going to be talking about this week. So that's specifically what I'd like you to read. Take a look at Jeff Beaudry's introductory video on qualitative research. Now, once again, you'll see these same videos pop up. Reliability and validity, take a look at that. I'd like you to participate in a discussion forum. And please, once again, you don't have to go overboard on this. Just answer the questions. Take a look at this, this article and then answer the questions. We do have an assignment coming up on February 20th, which is next Sunday night. This is a an assignment based upon the group work that you were in in week number three. So if you were part of group number or group A, that is the article that you will be using for this assignment. This is, take a look at the specifics and I'll work our way down, but these are the headings I would like you to use in the paper. I'd like you to have a cover page. I'd like you to have a references page. And even though we're only, you know, you're only looking at the one article that you were part of in group number, in group, in week number three, you may have other citations. These are the, the titles that I'd like you to use. And once again, go over a couple other things and then we'll, I'll show you where the assignment is. So those are the titles. Have two Zoom meetings this, this week. So when you come into Brightspace, you have up here at the top, the course that you're in. You can only get into your course. So I teach this semester EDU 600, 0001 and 0005. So those are the two courses. These are identical courses. We have different discussions. The assignments are the same. The materials are the same. They're just different courses, but all of the materials are the same. So with that said, two, we have an optional Zoom meeting, not mandatory. This is optional. The first one is for this class. EDU 600-0001, February 15th, which is Tuesday at 6.30. I'll send out a link for this particular Zoom session. If you are part of EDU 600, oh, I made a mistake there. Excuse me. I'm going to correct that right as we speak. Let me go back here. I apologize, but I want to get this right. 
just so you're not too fouled up. So coming back down here, I'm getting there. Just bear with me. Okay, EDU 600. If you are part of EDU 600-001, oh, excuse me, darn it, made the mistake again, sorry. 005, we're going to have a 715 Zoom meeting on the same day. So, and I'll send the in, invite out for that. So, sorry for the confusion, um, but I wanted to correct that right when I saw it. And, and so once again, optional Zoom meetings, and we can, at that, we can do whatever you want. We can go over the assignment that is due. We can cover any aspect of qualitative research. Bring your questions. If we have five people show up, that's fine. Now, I do want to offer anybody if if you are part of if you are part of um, this group, the 0005 class, and you can't make it at 715, but you you could make the 630. Shoot me an email, and I'm sure we can work something out. Um, I will record these. Everything will be recorded. It's the same for for. Um, you know, I'll post them on the website. So if you can't make it, don't worry about it. So I think what I'll do for there is I'll spend a little more time on what is the qualitative critique. I'll have a couple of samples to show everybody at that time. So as far as the critique goes, here is the assignment. We have guidelines, qualitative review guidelines. You can click on those. Those are just guidelines. I would still like you to use these headings for your paper. And once again, on Tuesday, I will actually show you an exemplar that you can take a look at for the format, but we can talk about it at that point. So that's the critique. That's not due until next Sunday at 1130. If you have any trouble, you anticipate not being able to get this assignment done by then, please let me know and we can work something out. Not a huge assignment, 1,000 to 1,200 words. So we're looking at three to four pages, double space. We have a discussion topic, as I mentioned. I'd like you to participate in that. Once, once again, if you have trouble with this, any, any trouble, please let me know. If you do your discussion post and you say, I just, I wasn't sure of this um, aspect, post that and we will discuss that. So that's it. That is week number five. I want to welcome you to the world of quantitative research. Some people may find this week to be right up their alley and other people, now that we're going to be talking the data, the becomes numbers rather than something that's coded or, you know, in qualitative research, we can be talking data, which is the words. What are the themes? Things like that. So I think this is an exciting period where we're going into another major type of research. And then we'll, as we move forward, we're going to talk about mixed methods, single case, and other designs. So in the meantime, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I am a little behind on, on the discussion post and I'm finding with four classes, it's not, it, 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 it's harder to keep, keep track of everything. I read everything, but sometimes I want to comment. And by the time I've come back, somebody else in the class has commented. So hang in there. You're doing a great job. A lot of materials. Qu any questions? Let me know. I hope to see you on Tuesday.